So one of my biggest takeaways with this entire build is that 3D printed guitars tend to be somewhat of a novelty. And what I've learned was there are certain things that a 3D printer can do that a CNC cannot, that a laser cannot, that it can do better. And what I'm talking about is this idea of impossible geometry, that even a five axis CNC could not do things you could only do with additive printing. But what I learned was it doesn't have to be completely 3D printed. You could only print what you needed to and then use mixed material. And I also think about the, the center section. And I think, well, there's not really a whole lot of complexity in there. That could be actually CNC'd and made out of wood or something else. So what I want to do next time is incorporate this idea of mixed materials and utilize the strengths of these tools and not necessarily use one tool for the whole job because that's the novelty, right? We clicked on this thumbnail on this video because this says 3D printed guitar. If it was half 3D printed, you probably wouldn't have clicked it and it probably wouldn't have the same impact. I think that's what most people are going for, the impact of an entirely 3D printed guitar. But as a guitar builder and as a guitar player, I realize that what we should be doing is using these tools for their strengths and not because of their novelty or impact.